Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. Welcome back to my channel. If you've not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So today we're going to talk about the recent musical collaboration, honey, between Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj. So a lot of the barbs in the Spice cabinets were waiting for this highly anticipated video called the Princess Diana Remix, and it dropped this past Friday on April 14th. The Barbs and the Spice Cabinets were super excited, super happy. The song was trending all over Twitter. So if you guys do not know, Ice Spice is a rising star from the Bronx, and she's literally been dominating the charts. So it just made sense for Nicki Minaj to jump on this remix. So a lot of people really like this remix, and they are here for the Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj collaboration. But, however, it seems like everybody is not happy about their collaboration, and hence, the girls are fighting, in my Zillia Banks voice. The girls are fighting! No! <laughs> the girls are fighting! <laughs> A particular rapper named Lotto began throwing shade at Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj. So let me go ahead and bring this back a little bit. Some people don't even realize that Lotto and Ice Spice have this beef going on. So if you guys do not know, their online beef started way, started a few months ago when Lotto and Nicki Minaj got into it. She called her a 40-year-old bully, said she was, you know, a rap grandmother and all this other stuff. And so Ice Spice decided to take to her social media and take up for Nicki Minaj. Spice ended up posting a video of this woman basically screaming and saying that, you know, younger women need to respect older women. And, you know, they need to learn to respect their elders. I don't like when the young girlies come for the old girlies. I don't like that. What the fuck? What is wrong with y'all? Have some fucking respect. Hey. So a lot of people took that as shade towards Lotto and as Ice Spice basically picking a side. So then shortly after that, um, Lotto was at a red carpet event and the lady who was interviewing her asked her, you know what I'm saying, to sing the lyrics to Ice Spice's song Bikini Bottom. And Lotto just kind of sat there stuck like she had no idea who and what the song Bikini Bottom was. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Okay, so the last question. Uh -huh. It's, how can I lose if I'm already chose? Chose. Like. Like. Are you looking at me? I'm <laughs> Somebody help me. Anybody? <laughs> Dang, she beat me. She beat me. Okay, okay, she got you. So once that clip went viral in January, a lot of people were dragging Lotto, saying she's a hater, and also reminded Lotto that she was also in Ice Spice comments, you know what I'm saying, fangirling her. So they reminded Lotto of that, and um, that was just a year prior. So a lot of people kind of felt away. So shortly after that, Ice Spice dropped her original Princess Diana song. And in the lyrics, fans were putting two and two together and saying it seems like Ice Spice is taking shots at Lotto ever since that interview. So in the lyrics, Ice Spice is saying, bitch is not taking shit from me but notes. Wanna be me so she do my emotes. My name in her mouth, I bet she gon' choke. Bitch not taking shit from me but notes. Wanna be me so she do my emotes and my name in her mouth so I bet she gon' choke. So a lot of people were like, okay, that's definitely a Lotto diss. So then after that, Lotto decided to clap back with a freestyle of her own. And in that freestyle, a lot of the lyrics in that freestyle seemed to be aimed at Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice. And it's still giving coke. And, and I still ain't post my nigga. Made them pull they true Y'all too easily impressed. Stop comparing me to trends. But I'm smoking on your face. I lower than the bar. I'm from Atlanta, don't get brave. Please, disrespect would not be tolerated. 22, I dominated. Yeah, I see the talk. I'm busy celebrating the nominations. So you can see the lyrics there that she had for Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj in that song. And another reason why they were beefing 
is the fact that Lotto had posted a picture of herself bent over grabbing her crotch. And everybody knows that that's Ice Spice's signature move. Um, And so when people started going at Lotto, like, you're once again copying this girl because it looks, you know, Ice Spice has done that move. That's the picture on her album cover as well. Lotto got mad and she addressed it and started going off. This was just a few weeks ago. Y'all say I'm copying, folks. I go show y'all that. I've been doing shit, and now I'm bothered. Y'all saying a bitch want to be gangster, I clear it up, I'm bothered. Bitch, I'm dead. Bitch, I'm dead again. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The fuck? Leave me alone. I'm really finna stop letting y'all, like, <laughs> think this shit. Like, that high road shit, I don't know if that shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir. So there's been a lot of back and forth between the girls concerning copying. Um, and then after that went viral about her copying her, Ice Spice took the Instagram and started dancing, reciting Nicki Minaj's Make Love lyrics, which were basically aimed at Lotto. So- Ice Spice responds to Lotto with Nicki Minaj bars. I'm the ice So as you guys see, this back and forth has been happening for a while. So now we fast forward to this weekend, okay? And basically Lotto came out. She came to slay. She was not playing. And so Lotto, you know, really went in. Um, There was a lot of references towards Nicki Minaj, towards Ice Spice. She says she's tired of the subliminals and y'all better, you know what I'm saying, say her name. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this clip of Lotto at Coachella. All right, so y'all just saw that clip. So like I said, the girls are fighting. Lotto wants all the smoke. And you know what? I'm here for it. At the end of the day, it's music. That's what they're supposed to do is put it in the music. You know what I'm saying? This is what hip-hop is about. I said the same thing when, you know, Meg Thee Stallion was crying about Drake and all these people and Nicki mentioning her. Drop a song. Respond. That's why I had to give Sweetie props. When Quavo was saying her name and disrespecting her in that song, Sweetie went to the booth and she came back. People can say it was the wrong timing because, you know, Takeoff had died. But at the end of the day, Sweetie considers herself a rapper and she went into the booth. And so this is what Lotto is doing as well. And that's what I always say. This is what hip hop is about. It's about going in the booth. It's not about going back and forth on Twitter, trying to get your fan base to go back and forth. It's about going into the booth and getting it off your chest. And let's keep it real. Nikki constantly is sneak dissing these other female rappers and dropping lines about them. Even in the Princess Diana song, there was a lot of sneak disses towards Lotto. So I'm here for it. If Nikki can do disses with Ice Spice and Ice Spice can throw subs and disses, Lotto can too. But I will say this, I do find it very funny that Lotto is demanding that, you know, all these females stop subbing her. They better put an ad on it. They better, you know, say her name. But at the end of the day, even though the lyrics were cute, she definitely went at them. She didn't mention their name. So if you're not involved in social media and you're just a casual fan, you're just thinking it's a regular song. A lot of people are not going to know who you're talking about unless you say Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice. So to me, Lotto's also subbing as well. You know what I'm saying? So you can't complain about subs, but you're low-key subbing too, honey, okay? But I will say this, at the end of the day, you know, I will give her credit because a lot of these rap girls really be acting scared of Nicki. It's like they are really scared to go at her, you know, lyrically. And, you know, Lotto got the balls and said, I'm about to do it. I, I don't care. But do I think that Nicki will respond to Lotto? She might, but I think the beef 
beef definitely does more for Lotto than it does Nikki. I can see Ice Spice definitely responding back to Lotto because Ice Spice right now and Lotto are basically neck and neck and Ice Spice is still new. So I can see this even helping Ice Spice more if she goes back and forth with Lotto. I don't really see it helping Nicki Minaj in that way. And like I've always said, I believe the only person who can go back and forth toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nicki that would be a good fit is Meg The Stallion. And I believe there's real hatred there towards Meg because of how Meg played her, you know, acted like she was Team Nicki, then jumped ship and, you know, ran to Cardi. And then WAP was a huge success. She ended up winning a Grammy. So I think Nicki has a real vendetta towards Megan. So I don't think she's really going to waste her time responding back to Lotto. She might send a few cute shots on Twitter, but I don't really see her going in the booth saying Lotto's name. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to sit and watch and see what happens. But I can definitely see Ice Spice going to the booth and calling out Lotto by name and dragging her, okay? So, again, despite all of this drama with all these female rappers, fans are still excited. It's new music, you know what I'm saying? New beef, new tea being spilled. And a lot of fans are definitely here for the collaboration between Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj. So, like I said, this is hip-hop. This is what it's about, and I'm here for it. So let me know your thoughts. I passed the question over to you guys. How do you guys feel about all this drama that went down at Coachella with Lotto, throwing shots at Nicki and Ice Spice? And then how do you guys feel about the Ice Spice-Nicki Minaj collaboration? Are y'all here for it? Do y'all like the video, or y'all not here for it? So go ahead, leave your thoughts down below. I look forward to reading your comments. Make sure you hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.